On the 20 slides shown below, I present the original photographs of the Second World War from the German archive, which are in my collection. These photos are from my collection department, Wehrmacht on the Eastern and Western Fronts. If you like it, subscribe to my YouTube, like it, so you don't miss the new weekly presentations. If you would like to order 5 inches by 7 inches copies of these photos from the original, you can specify which photos you would like to receive. Laboratory quality. Enjoy your viewing. The 3.7 cm Flak 18-36-37 was a series of anti-aircraft guns produced by Nazi Germany that saw widespread service in the Second World War. The cannon was fully automatic and effective against aircraft flying at altitudes up to 4,200 meters. 4. The cannon was produced in both towed and self-propelled versions. Having a flexible doctrine, the Germans used their anti-aircraft pieces in ground support roles as well, 37mm calibre guns were no exception to that. With Germany's defeat, production ceased and, overall, 37mm calibre anti-aircraft cannon fell into gradual disuse, being replaced by the Bofors 40mm gun and later, by 35mm anti-aircraft pieces produced in Switzerland. When Adolf Hitler came to power in 1933, felt gendarmerie were reintroduced into the Wehrmacht. The new units received full infantry training and were given extensive police powers. A military police school was set up at Potsdam, near Berlin to train felt gendarmerie personnel. Subjects included criminal code, general and special police powers, reporting duties, passport and identification law, weapons drill, self defense techniques criminal police methodology, and general administration. All prospective candidates served at a Felt Gendarmerie command after the first term of examinations. Courses lasted one year and failure rates were high. In 1935 only 89 soldiers graduated from an initial intake of 219 candidates. Felt Gendarmerie were employed within army divisions and as self-contained units under the command of an army corps. They often worked in close cooperation with the Geheime Feldpolizei, English, Secret Field Police, District Commanders and SS and Police Leaders.
German searchlights of the Second World War were used to detect and track enemy aircraft at night. They were used in three main sizes, 60, 150 and 200 centimeters. After the end of the First World War, German development of searchlights was effectively stopped by the Treaty of Versailles, it resumed in 1927. At the outset of the war, searchlights were combined with acoustic direction finders, with the direction finders guiding the searchlights to the right part of the sky, where they swept until they found the target. Later in the war, the searchlights were radar directed. The searchlights used extremely high powered carbon arc lamps. In September 1940, excluding units emplaced at naval facilities, Germany had 2,540 searchlights, 60 cm and 150 cm. During the war, this number grew rapidly. By February 1944, the Quartermaster General of the Luftwaffe General Staff reported that stocks of floodlights were as follows. 60 cm flak floodlight, mobile, 5,582, fixed, 794, total minus 6,376. 150 cm flak floodlight, mobile, 5,675, fixed, 1,636, total, 7,311. 150 cm quadruple flak floodlight, fixed minus 61, total, 61. 200 cm flak floodlight, total, 2,262. Total, mobile 11,257, fixed, 2,491, total minus 13,748. The Quartermaster General of the Luftwaffe, a Quartermaster General is the staff officer in charge of supplies for a whole army. He is in charge of Quartermaster units and personnel, i.e. those tasked with providing supplies for military forces and units. The BA-10 was an armored car developed in the Soviet Union in 1938 and produced through 1941. It was the most produced Soviet pre-1941 heavy armored car, 3,311 were built in three versions. These versions were the BA-10, the BA-10M, improved version with new radio, and the BA-10ZHD, equipped for dual railway slash road use. The basic BA-10 design was developed from the BA-3 and BA-6 heavy armored cars. It had an improved gas AAA chassis and improved armor, up to 15 mm at front and turret. It was intended that the BA-10 would be replaced in 1941 by the BA-11 with diesel engine and more sophisticated armor design, but the outbreak of war prevented BA-11 production. The BA-10 was in Red Army service until 1945. Significant numbers of captured BA-10s were used by Finland, at least 24, Germany and other Axis powers in Europe. The 15 cm Nabel Verfe 41, 15 cm NBW 41, was a German multiple rocket launcher used in the Second World War. It served with units of the Nebeltruppen, German chemical corps units that had the responsibility for poison gas and smoke weapons that were also used to deliver high explosives during the war. The name Nebelwerfer is best translated as smoke thrower. Like virtually all German rocket designs, 15 cm WF granite 41 projectiles were spin stabilized to increase accuracy. However, one unusual feature was that the rocket motor was in the front, the exhaust venturi is being about two-thirds down the body from the nose, with the intent to optimize the blast and fragmentation effect of the rocket as the warhead would still be above the ground when it detonated. Allied troops nicknamed it Screaming Mimi and Moaning Mini due to its distinctive sound. The MG-34, shortened from German, Maschinengewehr 34, or Machine Gun 34, is a German recoil-operated air-cooled general-purpose machine gun, first tested in 1929, introduced in 1934, and issued to units in 1936. 
it introduced an entirely new concept in automatic firepower, the universal machine gun, and is generally considered the world's first general purpose machine gun. The versatile MG-34 was chambered for the full power 7.92x57mm Mauser rifle cartridge and was arguably the most advanced machine gun in the world at the time of its deployment. The MG-34 was envisaged and well developed to provide portable light and medium machine gun infantry cover, anti-aircraft coverage, and even sniping ability. Its combination of exceptional mobility, being light enough to be carried by one man. For the medium machine gun roll a larger tripod, the MG-34 Lafetta 34, included a number of features, such as recoil absorbing buffer springs, a Zephyrno halter, optical sight mounting bracket, for mounting an MGZ-34 or MGZ-40 periscope type 4 times power telescopic sight containing special sighting equipment for indirect fire or the late World War II MGZ-44, designed for direct fire only. Fitting such an optical sight enabled the machine gun to deliver direct fire out to 3,000 meters, 3,281 yards. An accessory to lengthen these sights periscope was available, allowing the use of them behind cover. The Lafetta could be set up in a prone, kneeling or a high position and weighed 20 kilograms, 44.1 pounds, on its own. The legs could be extended with the Lafetoff sights stuck to allow it to be used in the low-level anti-aircraft role, and when lowered, it could be placed to allow the gun to be fired remotely while it swept an arc in front of the mounting with fire. Mounted to the Lafetta and aimed through the MGZ-34 or MGZ-40 telescopic sight the effective range of the MG-34 could be extended out to 3,500 meters, 3,828 yards when fired indirectly. The indirect firing method exploits the SS Patron useful maximum range, that is defined by the maximum range of a small arms projectile while still maintaining the minimum kinetic energy required to put unprotected personnel out of action, which is generally believed to be 15 kg meters. The Lafetta 34 tripod also had a bolt box to store a spare bolt. There were numerous other specialist mounts for the MG-34. The Drybine 34, for example, was a simple high-standing tripod for mounting the gun in anti-aircraft mode. There were also mounts for bicycles, motorcycle sidecars, tanks and armored vehicles, ball and pintle mounts, fortress positions, boat decks and even assault gliders. MG-34s were mounted in multiple gun arrangements, particularly on vehicles for low-level anti-aircraft defense. The MG-34 buttstock could be easily removed to reduce the space occupied when mounted inside a vehicle. It was produced in various wood and bakelite versions. The Pak 36, Panzer Abwehrhanon 36, is a 3.7 cm mm caliber German anti tank gun used during the Second World War. It was the main anti tank weapon of Wehrmacht Panzer Jäger units until 1942. Developed by Rhein Metal in 1933, it was first issued to the German Army in 1936, with 9,120 being available by the beginning of the war in September 1939 and a further 5,339 produced during the war. As the predominant anti-tank gun design in the world during the late 1930s, demand was high for the Pac-36, with another 6,000 examples produced for export and the design being copied by the Soviet Union as the 45mm anti-tank gun M1932, 19K, and by other nations such as Japan.